going to go through the process of deploying jasperreports.io on AWS. First off, we're going to look at jasperreports.io on the AWS marketplace, look at what the architecture is. We're going to go through the launch process with the CloudFormation template, and then we're going to test the deployment. So this is the jasperreports.io AWS marketplace listing. I'm logged into my AWS account here, so I can go to the AWS console, so we'll go to that later. And so I recommend the T2 Medium, though the T2 Micro course is cheaper, but doesn't have as much capacity. And then down the bottom, we have the usage information, a link to the CloudFormation template, which we're gonna walk through a bit later. There's also links here to the community site, how to launch, and a link to register and download for Jaspersoft Studio. So let's have a look at jasperreports.io. Uh, on AWS, the standard AWS architecture. The middle of it is a jasperports.io instance uh, launched from an AMI that optionally includes a CloudWatch environment so you can collect the logs and so on. That is deployed into your account. So VPC, subnet, security group is all part of the CloudFormation template we'll be looking at launches. There is also a bucket that's either created or accessed where the, uh, in S3 that has a JustReports.io repository containing uh, report templates, data source definitions, other content that is used to generate the visualizations and reports. Of course, there is the connectivity to the various data sources that JRIO needs to generate the visualizations. And that can be within Amazon, as well as potentially out on prem or in cloud. Now at the front of this, you can see there's the gray arrow. So by default, JasperReports.io has no security or anything like that in it. If you don't change it, would be you know publicly available from your account. You want to put uh, various security arrangements in front of that. So let's run the CloudFormation template. So let's give it a name, Sherman's JRIO intro, select a size, T2 medium, put in my, my key so that I can SSH in if I really want to. There are samples, data, reports, and you can leave them in there, which we're going to do for now to be there so you can test it out. You can put in a VPC and subnet if you want, select a VPC, select a subnet within that, that VPC. Do you want to expose your instance to the outside world publicly? I'm going to say true, but of course you can say false for that. What range of IP addresses do you want to allow to have access? Zero gives you everything. You can set up your CloudWatch optionally. You have to have CloudWatch permissions on your account to allow that to happen. You, if you don't have CloudWatch permissions, that, that when the create stack goes through, it'll fail. In this case, I'm just going to say, no, I don't want CloudWatch. And finally, you've got the S3 bucket name. If you leave it blank, an S3 bucket will be created. You can put in a previously created S3 bucket, so you don't have to create new things all the time. So we go next, all okay. I usually put in like a name here, and this is gonna be Germans JRIO example. Permissions, we, you can optionally put that in if you want. Advanced, we say next, is check this all out. Acknowledge that the AWS CloudFormation template might create IAM wishes, which is, and you hit create. So let's have a look at what the CloudFormation template created. So this is one here within it. You can see all the events, not many events. There's not many things being created, but the security groups and roles. In this case, I didn't have the CloudWatch logs created. And in the end, it's creating the JRIO instance. The resources it created was the instance and the various roles and security groups. In the outputs of the stack, there is a link. It works, and then we go directly to the demo app. If you've gotten here, the JRIO instance is there and up and running. It's gone automatically into the JRIO docs sample environment, which has got a whole bunch of documentation, start guides, configuration, REST API, JavaScript samples for the embedding and the client API and the report gallery. So the quickest thing to do here is to run a report that's sitting in the samples. Go here, immediately goes in and this is what is known as the first Jasper. So if you get to this point, you've got a JRIO instance that's actually up and running 
and has got, it'll have the sample environment there. So we have gone through the process of understanding jasreports.io and AWS, launching it and testing out the deployment. So now the next steps are getting Jaspersoft Studio to allow you to create visualizations and reports, test them out and deploy them into your Amazon environment, as well as how to actually use those visualizations and reports. So there are other videos and documentation on that. So thank you very much for your time. Mm -hmm.